when Kathy was having Jody. Now, you see, a man, now that's happening. You can go in and see your baby being born. When Jody was born, we weren't allowed to do that. The only thing a man could do was go to the administrative office and pay for the baby. <laughs> you stand outside and you pay for the baby. Now, if you've ever seen a woman have a baby, it ain't a pretty picture. A lot of blood. And this fool that was with me, his wife was in the other room. Well, no, she was in the same room. Then they, they switched y'all. They gave Kathy some drugs that I've been trying to get for, for 30 years after. <laughs> that was some fine, that was some fine drug, Dr. Well, I don't know what she got, but buddy, you could solo on that stuff. I ain't kidding you, whatever it was. Now, I was a sinner in those days. I said, I got to have some of this, man. Okay, Kathy going, oh! Woo! I said, we want some of that. <laughs> this guy wants to go in and deliver them. What allowed you to do that? This is at Arlington Memorial Hospital in Arlington, Texas, where Jody was born. I said, man, you can't go in there. Listen, man, I'm, I'm going in there. I said, and this doctor, the name of the doctor that delivered Jody was phenomenal, but he had a weird name. His name was Garth Hatch. And he had a problem with gambling. I won all my money, I paid him. We started playing blackjack. I told him, don't go to Vegas, you ain't gonna get out of town. They're gonna take you, you don't know how to play cards, man. You, you card laid, card played, remember what's coming down, you know? Your percentages, you understand? But he, he didn't get it. And, uh, so, but this guy, he was also delivering this other lady's baby. Well, this fool, uh, the nurse comes, and this was a phenomenal nurse. She was a hunchback nurse. <laughs> she had a hunchback. <laughs> now, I'm not being incredible, but she was a good nurse. She come like this. She said, <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> she go, doctor, doctor. She's ready, doctor. <laughs> and I thought, whoa. Oh, it freaked me out, you know. I am not exaggerating, but she was wonderful. That woman knew her business. The doctor said, he playing cards with me. Oh no, she'll be all right. Doctor, <laughs> she knew more than he did. She's ready. Well, my God, and she walk a little slow. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and this guy gets up from the chair where we are sitting, runs in there, and there's his wife and she's birthing that baby. Now he's gonna be a macho man. <laughs> he's a man, I'm a man, I can handle that. He goes, and passed out. <laughs> hit the floor. Just hit the floor. Now, here the doctor and the hunchback lady trying to take care of this woman, baby. They got to drag the guy out. <laughs> I just stayed where the cards were. <laughs> they finally got him. I'm telling you, he passed out cold. I'm not going to hang around that guy. First, he was a reproach. He couldn't, he, he wasn't obedient. He wasn't listening to what the, 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 the hospital rules are. You don't do that. Well, boy, his wife jumped him like crazy when she found out he passed out on the floor. I thought you was a man. I thought you was a man. He was a black brother. I thought you was a man. <laughs> Fall down on the floor in front of your own child. You know, a black woman get on your case bad, son. <laughs> she can just flat lay it to you. I thought you was a man, you man, man. <laughs> Did the white guy fall on the floor? He go, no, he, he playing cards. <laughs> <laughs> Check up on who you're hanging out with. Do not counsel with people who are reproached to God and his word.